today we will learn the meaning of congruence many times we see such figures around us which are very similar to each other look at these two leaves is there any difference think think if you look carefully you will find that they are exactly the same if we place them on top of each other they cover each other completely one shape completely covers the other shape only in one condition when the shape and size of both the objects are same so such shapes that are completely equal in size and shape are called congruent shapes the relation of two figures being congruent is called congruence and we use this sign to show this relationship keep in mind that like 2d shapes 3d shapes can also be congruent for example these two cones which have equal size and shape are therefore congruent in this video we will only discuss congruency of two dimensional shapes if we talk about these shapes then here also you can see that the sizes and measurements of both are found exactly same so both these shapes are also congruent now look at these two shapes of keys do you think that this is also congruent think think to find out we will try to keep one shape properly on the other as you can see the two keys do not cover each other completely that is they are not equal in size and measure so it is not congruent we use this symbol to show that the two figures are not congruent now by looking at the pictures given find out which pictures show congruent shapes and which pictures do not have congruent shapes pause the video and solve it yourself can you tell that how can we make a congruent shape of a given shape think think let us tell you we can make it by trace copy and using carbon paper with the help of geometry we can draw a congruent shape of any shape by composition Now let's examine the congruency of some shapes of geometry. Are two line segments always congruent? Think think. Let us tell you. The lengths of line segments are limited. When the two line segments have the same length as here, the line segment AB is equal to 3 cm. and the line segment cd is equal to 3 cm then they cover each other completely in such a situation they are congruent if the lengths are not the same say the line segment ef and that is equal to 3 cm and the line segment gh that is equal to 5 cm then they do not completely cover each other So in such a case two line segments are said to be not congruent and we write it as this therefore the congruency of the line segments is checked only on the basis of their length no matter what the position of the line segments are if the lengths of the line segments are equal then they are congruent on the contrary we can also say that if two line segments are congruent then their lengths are equal 
Now let's talk about congruency of angles. Look at these two angles. Both measure 30 degrees. Are these congruent? Let's find out. We will create angle PQR on trace paper and place it on angle AOB. On adjusting, we see that vertex Q is covering vertex O. Arm QP to arm OB and the arm QR completely covers the arm OA. This shows that both the angles are congruent. That is, angle PQR is congruent to angle AOB. Now suppose the length of OB was more than the length of QP. Then in such a situation, angle PQR and angle AOB would be congruent. Think, think. Keep in mind, it does not matter what the lengths of the sides of the angles are. If the measurements of the angles are equal, then the angles are called congruent. That is, the congruence of angles is based on the measurement of angles. That is, if two angles are equal, then they are congruent. On the contrary, we can say that if two angles are congruent, then their measurements are equal. If the two angles whose measurements are not equal, they cannot be placed one above the other in any way, so that the vertices and sides of one angle are exactly on the vertices and sides of the other. In such a situation, two angles cannot be congruent. In the next video, we will understand the congruence of triangles in details. Today we learnt the meaning of congruence. In the next video we will learn congruence of triangles.